Hello, and welcome back to our program. The past few weeks, we've heard and read about politicians from all over the world classifying the Crimea joining the Russian Federation as against international law. The American congressman, Alan Grayson, spoke out and contradicted this thesis. At a meeting of the Congressional Committee for Foreign Policy, he pilloried especially the aggressive war propaganda against Putin and Russia. Listen yourself. You may say that Yanukovych was thrown out of office for a good reason. There are allegations against him that he was corrupt. There are allegations against him that he used the military against his own people to stay in power, said Grayson. But the fact is that from the perspective of the Crimeans, their leader, the one that they had placed in charge of their country, was thrown out of power. So it should come as no surprise that the Crimeans had had enough and they wanted to leave this artificial entity called the Ukraine. The congressman continued, Now, in fact, the Russians did assist. They assisted by disarming the local Ukrainian army and navy. That's what they did. They did it virtually bloodlessly. They did this so that the Ukrainian army and navy could not interfere with the referendum that was being held. That's the fact of the matter. Why are we pretending otherwise? Why are we speaking about naked aggression? Why are we speaking about stealing Crimea? Why are we speaking about bullying or the new Soviet Union or thuggery or audacious power grabbing or bully bear Putin or Cold War II? Grayson went on. This is not some new Cold War that's occurring, he said. In fact, it's quite the contrary. We should be pleased to see, yes, we should be pleased to see when a virtually bloodless transfer of power establishes self-determination for two million people somewhere in the world, anywhere in the world. And in fact, what we're seeing here instead is the vilification of Putin, the vilification of Yanukovych, the vilification of anybody that we try to identify as our enemy. Before that, it was Saddam Hussein. Since then, it's been Assad. That does not help. The basic principle here is self-determination, Grayson said. That's what's happened in the Crimea, and it's not for us to determine otherwise. Very clear words from the U United States Congress, ladies and gentlemen. Stay tuned in with us and observe how globally more and more people are speaking up for the truth, making counter voices heard. Help us to make the counter voice heard by recommending our programs and spreading this information. See you next time and goodbye.